And now to an eight on your side investigation. A veteran declared dead, but he is very much alive. The VA told Walter Williams' family that he was dead. His loved ones tried for months to convince the government otherwise. And when that didn't work, they reached out to eight on your side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews. Keith, this mistake put these folks in a crunch. By the time we got involved, they were about out of time and money. Walter Williams faced death at Iwo Jima in World War II and then again in Korea. But in July, it was a mistake by the VA that killed him. On July 25th, they sent out a letter saying that my father was deceased. For a dead guy, Walter Williams looks and sounds pretty good. So what's this for? Walter suffers from Alzheimer's. His daughter Rita cares for him full time. When the VA killed him off in July, it also deep sixed his VA and Social Security pensions, then demanded back $1,700 it deposited into his account. I'm not sure where I'm going to find the money for the electric bill. Out of money since July, Rita contacted her congressman and repeatedly called the VA. I feel like getting off the phone at times and just banging my head against the wall. <laughs> I am so frustrated over the fact that nobody seems to get the fact that we've got to have the money to pay the bills. So she contacted Eight on Your Side. We reached out to the director of Stetson University's Veterans Advocacy Clinic, Stacy Ray Simcox. She sits on a new board called My VA, along with local and regional VA directors. So I emailed uh, Director Witte, who was very responsive. And when she found out about it, she wanted to fix it immediately. And within an hour... Yeah, you brought him back to life. The VA says it will make Walter financially whole by the end of the week. Oh, I thank you very much. And like I said, I do appreciate all of your help and everything that you guys have done to help me. Still no real explanation from the VA about why this happened. It could be someone mistakenly entered a wrong digit on a social security number or someone with a similar name just passed away. The VA says it is investigating. Well, the good news is you got involved and, and things are moving in the right direction, but it never ceases to amaze me how quickly a government mistake can just mess up someone's life and then how long it takes to straighten it out. Yeah, you know, she did the right thing. She contacted her congressman. She contacted the VA. But it's a big agency. Sometimes it's very hard to find the right push person to push the right button. The idea behind this new My VA board is to get veterans the help they need quickly. All right. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. And if you've had trouble with the VA, 8 on your side wants to hear from you. Give us a call at 1-800-338-0808. Again, that telephone number, 1-800-338-0808.